so guys today we've got all the information you need to know about the upcoming season starting off with the objectives um, we've completed two of the youth objectives already the other one um, within two seasons have at least three players from the youth academy signed in the first season play at least 30% of the games next season remaining season is one so that we've got 23 players available that could um, play 30% of games <coughs> so we should do that but I won't really focus on it um, get a streak of three clean sheets in away matches they've already signed crucial or more important role not in Europe um, win League One and reach round of 16 of the FA Cup um, increase club growth by 25% through player sales and competition prize money rewards and within the same season assign two crucial players and make a profit of 43 million so we've done the crucial players we just need to somehow get 43 million profit um, let's see the squad so we've changed up the kit and formation to fit new players we, we've signed Manuel Neuer he was on a release clause of 17 million we sold Herrera that's how we had the money to get Neuer we've gone to a back five with Cabral at left wing back Godoy Corcoran Doyle and Castaneda Janssen stays in the midfield Mango on the left Woods uh, slightly advanced at Cam Schofield on the right Kutsias up front Neuer is the captain the bench is Stephenson, Brun, LaRoche Benice, Duran, Cabrera and Brown um, CDMs I'm not too interested in because um, we don't have them in our formation anymore I signed this guy before I decided to go to the back five which would mean we have to sacrifice a midfielder well Spina's is in reserve but I'm looking to sell him um, and there's quite a few pay people here looking to be loaned out our squad hopefully won't be this big by the end of the transfer window um, let's see the draw for the cup competitions so starting off with the Carabao Cup Barrow have Millwall, Crawley have Stevenage, Charlton have Northampton, Scunthorpe have Port Vale, Gillingham have Derby, Doncaster have Blackpool, Accrington Stanley have Barnsley, Birmingham have Lincoln, Portsmouth have Tranmere, Norwich have Nottingham Forest, Harrogate have Swindon, Exeter have Leighton Orient, Rotherham have Fleetwood, Cheltenham have Mansfield, Oldham have Crewe, Sutton have Sheffield Wednesday, Newport have Ipswich, we have Crystal Palace away um, so a uh, very good championship side there because they must have got relegated to be in round one um, so very tough game against Crystal Palace um, away as well, Selhurst Park isn't an easy place to visit uh, Peterborough have Bournemouth, Sunderland have Hull, Cambridge have Rochdale Carlisle have Huddersfield, Bradford have Bolton, Shrewsbury have Oxford, Cardiff have Middlesbrough, MK Dons have Blackburn, Salford have Luton, Plymouth have Wigan, QPR have Hartlepool, Wimbledon have Reading, Coventry have Forest Green, Wickham have Preston, Bristol City have Stoke, Sheffield United have Bristol Rovers, uh, Birmingham have Morecambe and Swansea have Colchester. So Crystal Palace away. Um, probably the toughest draw we could have got I don't see a team better than Crystal Palace here so to get Crystal Palace is the toughest draw and to get them away as well that is in my opinion the worst possible draw we could have got um, maybe Bournemouth but I think Palace are slightly better um, uh, yeah well, we can definitely beat Crystal Palace but um, it's going to be a challenge I think um, that's in this video no we need to see two more stuff Papadron's trophy draw 
and the um, fixture list. In northern section, Group A, there's Shrewsbury, MK Dons and Wigan. Group B, Oxford, Barrow, Rotherham. Group C, Fleetwood, Bolton, Stevenage. Group D, Portville, Scunthorpe, Rochdale. Group E, Ipswich, Colchester, Bradford. Group F is us, Crawley and Hull. Group G is Salford, Burton and Lincoln. Group H is Mansfield, Wimbledon and Sutton. Uh, southern section, Group A is Morecambe, Crewe and Sunderland. I don't know why Sunderland's in the southern section. Um, I think it's just random, really. I didn't mean to go there. Um, uh, group B, Doncaster, Cambridge, Gillingham. Group C, Northampton, Wickham, Bristol Rovers. Group D, Cheltenham, Leighton Orient, Swindon. Group E, Forest Green, Charlton, Oldham. Group F, Exeter, Accrington, Bolton. Group G, Harrogate, Newport, Tranmere, and Group H is Carlisle, Sheffield Wednesday, and Hartlepool. So we're Group F up here. Uh, Crawley and Hull, they're two League One teams. Um, Crawley somehow managed to stay in League One. I was surprised they got promoted in um, Season One, and then to stay in League One is very good for Crawley, so they're probably... Uh, they're n they're not one of the best League One teams, definitely. Um, but Hull m must have come down from the Championship, I think. Um, so that will be a tough game there. Um, let's see the fixture list. So we're starting off with Ipswich. Then we've got Wigan. Then it's the Cup against Crystal Palace. Um, Bolton, Morecambe, Cheltenham, Charlton. Then Hull in the Cup, then Crewe, Shrewsbury, Wimbledon, Wickham, Oxford, Crawley. Then Crawley again in the Cup, Sheffield Wednesday, Rotherham, Bradford, MK Dons, Lincoln, Blackpool, Doncaster, Hull, Fleetwood, Sunderland, Gillingham, Charlton, Cheltenham, Morecambe, Bolton, Rotherham, Oxford, Sheffield Wednesday, uh, uh, Crawley, Gillingham, MK Dons, Bradford, Wigan, Ipswich, Shrewsbury, Hull, Crewe, Doncaster, Wickham, Wimbledon, Blackpool, um, Lincoln, Sunderland, Fleetwood. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, this could change based on how we, how far we go in the cups, but more or less, this is our fixture list this season. Um, got knocked out in the semis of the pre-season tournament, drew every single group stage game and then lost to Lorient, um, but we don't really care about pre-season. Um, that's the end of this video, goodbye.